Hi everyone and welcome to our last session for the Quilt Along 2020. My name is Sonia and I'm a staff member from Bernina World of Sewing and I'm very happy to have you with me for this last session. We have here the whole, all the blocks put together in sections. And I know underneath here, each section, are the measurements for the pieces you have to cut who are also here in the cutting diagram for your background. What I did, because I did not want to have to go forward and backward to here and here, I wrote all the measurements I need for these pieces checked here and then did find them here on the cutting uh, diagram and I crossed them out so I knew exactly uh, where I was and uh, what I had to cut. Um, I wrote this with pencil and I, I know you probably have a hard time seeing it, but I will explain what I did here in an enlargement of the different sections. Okay, let's start with section one. Here are all the blocks I need and the different uh, rectangles. If I look here on, on these pages and here, the set there are all the sashing. Here I have section one, and just for you, so you can see it better, um, I, I wrote them in with, with, with a, a pen, so uh, I hope you can read the numbers. If I con uh, compare all the sections, the sashings here, and here, and here, here, over here, here and the last section they are always two and a half inches so this gives me kind of a, sta uh, a stability that I know where I'm going sashing wise so the first thing I do I look at the uh, um, at this diagram I check the measurements of all my blocks I'm using 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 15 and a half, and this is six and a half. If they are reasonably the, the size I need them, I can cut my sashing strips. So the sashing strips to the two blocks and then sew all four pieces together. Then I can cut number B. I know this is 12 and a half inches and five should be five and a half inches wide. So I sew this to this part and then I measure with a tape measure how much this actually is. I usually press them first before and make sure that what I need is actually 33 and a half inches or I would measure here what this adds up to be in your measurements. Then I so uh, I check the 15 and a half inch block and sew this to here. Checking my hearts, is it really six and a half inches? If it is bigger, then you have to adjust this D and trim the measurement uh, with more than six and a half inches away here from that seam before you attach this but it shows you each row or each section gives you a chance to adjust the actual measurement you have to what you need and uh, the width from here to here should be 54 and a half inches and section number two we have the three blocks. So the first thing we do, we check the block size. And then I cut Z, the sashing, and that goes between these two blocks. If the block size here is different, I would make the C longer or shorter. 
but still two and a half inches. Then I take the measurement from here to here and check if G, the, in, the measurement in G is what I need and add G to here. The next one is I can put the sashing E onto the block and the total height here with E and the block should be 17 and a half inches. F is 17 and a half inches by two and a half inches wide sashing so I can sew this to here. Now we are on H. If the square here was what it's supposed to be, I cut H out and attach it to this part. Then I add I, that's two and a half, it's sashing, and put everything together. If for any reason your block is not exactly the same size and this should stick out here a little bit, when you add this to here, just trim this back to 17 and a half inches. You can see this, the rectangles we can adjust in section 2 is H and I and uh, you should end up again with 54 and a half inches and the height is 17 and a half inches. And that's section 2. Section 3 is actually a, a very simple one because um, it is uh, only 9.5 inches high and this is sashing so we can sew all these if all the block all three blocks are 9.5 inches you can sew this together in one go. Now I know that some of you had troubles with the Barbados block and I told them not to worry just leave it the way it is. So if your Barbados block, who is six and a half inches, is smaller than that, you would have something who looks like that. So this means the difference between the six and a half inches with the seam allowance and what you have, you have to add in the width here to L, or you could just do one L the, uh, the way it's in on the list and make this one a little bit bigger or both of them a little bit bigger. And then you have to adjust J that you have a total of nine and a half inches here again. So it just will look a little bit different. Now, if your Barbado block is bigger than the six and a half inches, you would make L a little bit smaller on both sides or on one side and make J a little bit smaller. But you can see this is really adjustable to the actual size of the Barbados star you have because these two um, rectangles are for adjustment. Just make sure you end up again with 54 and a half inches. Here we are with section four. We have three 12 and a half inch blocks. We check if these are about 12 and a half inch. And so we are ready to put Z sashing two and a half inches by 12 and a half inches between. Then we press and measure, including the seam allowance, uh, how wide this is and check if this is the width we are supposed to cut M, add, either adjust it or add M to these three blocks. Then here we have this little tiny block that's six inches. Uh, if it's six inches, we do add the two rectangle O and N sew it together and make sure we have again the 54 and a half inches and but if you look at them you know you could adjust here and here if you have to either add in a little bit or trim the spec or make it wider for your 54 inches so th this is the side where you can be flexible 
Section 5. First, again, we check all the blocks, if they are okay. And then let's start here with Sono, Sona Mamoa. This is 15 and a half. And P is 4 and a half. So this would add up to 19 and a half inches. Let me write this down for you. So we put this to here and here we have to make sure that we end up on that side with 19 and a half inches. First I would put the sashing into here. We know it's two and a half by the height of the two blocks. Then we can uh, cut Q 19 and a half by two and a half and add this to here. We add um, T to here and then S to here and R to here. Now we have to make sure that this adds up to the same inches then uh, this is the same as here. If there is a variance we have to adjust either this or this but it should be okay. We add U, put everything together. And if it's not 54 and a half inches, if it's bigger, we have a chance to trim it here. Um, if the width variates, it's usually that it's smaller because if we have a full quarter inch seam allowance, it shrinks a little bit, maybe an eighth or so of the whole width. And that's normal and not a, a problem. Now, putting the sections together is really not going to be a, a problem at all because if you look very carefully here in the diagram you take section one two three four and five together and this looks when you look closely like it's going to be difficult but the rosie was really nice the section one is here section two is going to be here and then three here four here and, and five is, is the rest of it you see that all the seams are going straight to through if you look vertical there is not one seam between the different sections who has to line up somewhere so it's really really easy you just line them up on one side and if it's not quite straight here, you trim them back uh, to that you can square off your center. After you should the measurements you have when you sew all your sections together should be 54 and a half by 75 and a half. Then you cut your outside borders and they are two and a half inches wide and put them on here. Uh, some of you might want to make it a little bigger if you have extra uh, backing material because um, I heard from a few people that they would like to make the big, they're called bigger or even add some colors around it. Well, that's it for today. And I would like to say thank you to you for sticking it out with us. And um, I'm very uh, much looking forward to hear from you and see the first quilts together. I know a lot of you have bit different backgrounds. And uh, if you like, send a picture to quiltalong2020 at Bernina World of Sewing. And I'm sure David will put something together on the website so you can share it with your friends and family. Thank you again and have a good rest of the year. Bye-bye.